Sunday School Kids Children. We are very happy and proud to have you all here with us. We promised you last year, if you still remember, that we will try to do the first Sunday of every month, a special sermon for you. So thank you for coming. And you know why we do special Sunday for you every first week of the, of the month? Why? And who else knows why we come to the church? Why we have? Why we don't go to the Sunday school? Yes. Yes, because we have to be in the church at Sunday. Good. Anyway. Oh my gosh! You ruined my sermon. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. Seriously, I'm going to talk about. On Sunday, the rest, the seven days, thank you, give me five. <laughs> thank you. So, so today is Sunday. And usually Sunday we should go, the first thing we have to do Sunday, we have to go to where? Church. To church. Why? Because forget what he said, forget. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, why we have to go to the Sunday, uh, to the church on Sunday, yes? Yes, we have to pray to God. Thank you. Yes, because God rested on Sunday. Because also He died on Friday, but He rested on Sunday. You mean, yes? Yeah, yes. What else? God, he made everything, like he said, and then the last day, and he rest. So that's why. But pretty much when we come to the church, we don't rest. We come, we take our cars, and we come. But the meaning of the rest, which is spiritually, we have to rest our soul. Because every day we go to school, we work hard, your parents, of course, and you do a lot of things. You need day to rest. So when you come to the church, you put everything bothering you here, and you receive forgiveness, and you receive spiritually rest. So that's why we call it the day of the Lord. So what we call Sunday, the day, day of the Lord. What do you want to say, go ahead? Nothing, okay. Today, we were reading this morning from the Gospel when Jesus, he did something very important on the Sabbath, on Sabbath Sunday, which is the day that we should worship God. He, no, he actually held somebody, he has, uh, his hand was handicapped. He wasn't able to move his hand. Some people, they were complaining, they said, how come you heal somebody on the, uh, the day of the Lord? You should rest. But Jesus then, he said something very important. He said, this man, he need healing. That's why when we come to the church on Sunday, we ask God to forgive us. So we also, like that man whom Jesus healed him, we also, we ask Jesus to heal our spirit by forgiving our sins. So from now and on, and you are going to grow up. Every day you're growing up. When you will grow up, you will be able by your own to drive car. On the Sunday, are you going to go hang out with your friend or you will come to the church? What are you gonna do? Yes, what? Yes, exactly. Why? Because Sunday is the day, yes? God rested, and we have also to rest. Yes, he has a lot of things to tell me. We, we have to respect God. So when we work, we don't respect God. No, we do respect God. But this day, we have to give it to God. So Jesus, he says something very important. He said, on Sunday, 
we can, we are only allowed to do good things, which is to help people, to help poor people, maybe to visit somebody sick in the hospital. So what is the things that we are allowed to do on Saturday? Like what? I need another hand, but only those people. They, they know everything pretty much, those people. Yes, tell me. Okay, so we have to do only good things on Saturday and Sunday, such as if somebody is sick from the family or friend, we have to go visit him to pray with him or her. If somebody needs maybe help, we have to do it also on Sunday because we are only allowed to do good things on the day of the Lord. A lot of people, yes, have things, I know, I'm so sorry. What? Bless the Lord also on Sunday. Good job. What else we can do on Sunday? What else? Yes? Nothing. Yes? I told you, next time he will preach. <laughs> Help someone who needs it. Yes, thank you. Yes? Yes, receive communion. This is very important. So when we come to the church, we have to ask God to take all of our burden all our sins to give us forgiveness and then we can receive communion and what is the communion what is the communion yes what is the communion bloody and blood of jesus christ thank you so on sunday we can come as a family to the church to worship god to receive forgiveness to receive communion and to do good things. So from now on, on, on Sunday, he has things before I end up. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, tell me. Oh, he said hi to his daddy. No, I'm sorry. Hi, his daddy. So from now on, on, every Sunday, we have to wake up early to get ready to come to the church to go to the Sunday school or to come here to the church to sit and to participate all of us in the liturgy and to receive communion. May God bless you all. We are all here proud of you. We always pray for you and we always thank God for your presence here among us. God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. May God bless you all. Dear